Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be providing an overview of the new US Imperial masonry roll for Tecla structures. We'll take a look at where to download the roll and all of its significant areas and features that it provides. So with that, let's begin. The US Imperial masonry roll is a separate download from the installation of Tecla structures or the US environment. The roll can be found and downloaded from the Tecla warehouse. Simply search for masonry roll and select the packages page and download the latest version applicable to your version of Tecla Structures. Also, if you do not have the CMU tools already installed, ensure that you do so now as the masonry roll requires resources that are installed with the CMU tools. To install the roll, run the T-Step installer you've downloaded from the warehouse. With Tecla Structures closed, execute the installer and follow the install wizard to complete. If you have Tecla open, you can install the TSEP via the Extension Manager found in the Applications and Components menu. For more information on these processes, head over to our Tecla User Assistance for documentation. After installing the role and starting Tecla Structures, you will need to choose the Imperial Masonry role from the role dropdown on the splash screen. The role works with any license, but it does require the US environment. Once Tecla has fully opened, you may choose an existing model to open, or you may create a new one. The masonry role now provides a masonry-specific model template that offers some small quality of life adjustments for masonry models. However, this template is not required, and the use of the cast-in-place rebar detailing template is perfectly acceptable if users prefer. First addition that the masonry role provides is the masonry ribbon. All of the masonry tools previously found in the Applications and Components side pane have now been localized to this new ribbon. In addition, there are several other useful tools that can be found on the ribbon, such as the Radial Array tool used for creating curved walls, or the Bricks on Wall tool used with veneers. Activating a tool requires just one click, but you can still access the tools dialog by double-clicking the icon. The ribbon also provides shortcuts to the shape catalog, the US Getting Started guide, as well as the new masonry-specific macros we'll highlight further in this video. As you know, masonry blocks are created as concrete items, and the masonry roll provides a localized properties pane to reflect working with these blocks that are created with the CMU tools. When selecting a block and viewing the properties, you will notice a few changes. The general section has been reduced to focus on the most basic of properties for our blocks. The new masonry section has been added to provide direct access to the attributes utilized by the CMU tools and this roll settings. Users now have direct access to block type, finish face, and decorative color. Most importantly, users can also access and update design name and design group mark fields, as well as adjust block tacking for rebar, cut blocks, and grout. All of these fields are fields that are populated via the CMU tools, and having them directly accessible in the Properties pane affords users the flexibility to directly manage their blocks on a case-by-case -case scenario. Please note though, if you're modifying a block's properties, but then update the wall via the CMU tools, your changes might be lost. Whenever manually modifying objects created by a component, it is always a best practice to finish the configuration through the component, and then explode it to avoid accidentally overriding any manual changes you're about to make. Additional filters have been provided to assist users in selecting certain types of blocks. These filters not only enhance workflows, but are meant to serve as examples for creating a company's own filters for specific uses. The filters provided are applicable to view, object, selection, and representation filters. Users can isolate or exclude masonry units, as well as select specific blocks based on tagging applied by the masonry tools. The representation filter for tagged blocks is especially useful in providing a quick visualization of what blocks have been tagged and with which attribute. Users can change a block's tag via the wall tool, by adjusting the fields now found in the properties pane, or by using the macros now located in the masonry ribbon. To utilize the macros, first select the block you wish to apply or remove a tag from. Then, from the block tag dropdown on the ribbon, select the appropriate tag. The blocks are then updated according and the user can verify based on their representation filter. 
The tags and filters serve as new workflow tools, but are also an example of what else is possible for users to create on their own for their own workflows. Check out the TUA for more information on creating filters and macros. The masonry roll adds a new Excel-based report for quantifying units. It can be found in the reports dialog and is named 370 masonry block quantities.xls. The report aggregates any block that uses the assembly prefix of CMU or MB and reports upon it. The report separates blocks into reinforced, grouted, and non-grouted categories and then provides a material breakdown of each category with applicable quantities. Please keep in mind that you want to ensure that the reports option is set to open the report within the applicable viewer and not inside Tecla. This should be the default with the masonry model template. However, always verify. Otherwise, the report will not open in Excel as expected. The organizer has also been updated to provide masonry specific settings. Categories for overall masonry as well as just grouted box can be utilized by users right after installing the role and they have associated property sets to display masonry relevant data. In addition to these basic settings, the role also includes property categories for additional workflow capabilities. For the unfamiliar, property categories allow users to drag items from the object browser into a property category. When the organizer is then again synced, the property category will write a new value to a specified UDA. In the case of these masonry settings, these property categories write the name of the category to the respective blocks contained within. Currently, settings are provided to tag blocks with the finish face, block type, or block color. Property categories allow users to tag dozens or even hundreds of blocks with a single effort, allowing for more accurate classification of masonry units without sacrificing productivity. As always, these settings are aimed to improve the masonry workflows as well as serve as examples for users creating their own settings. For more information on creating organizer settings, head over to the Tecla User Assistance webpage. The U.S. Imperial Masonry Roll also provides additional basic general arrangement drawing settings. The settings provide templates for both B and D sized drawings and options are available for layouts with and without reinforcement. Simply load the settings, apply, and then create. All masonry drawing settings provide a block table for the bill of material on that drawing, meaning that any block shown in any view on that specific drawing will be accounted for in the table. For drawings with rebar, tables are also provided for bar schedules and bending images. Users can utilize the drawing settings as is or use them to develop their own company specific settings. These drawing templates are generic and are aimed to be used for both plan and elevation views of masonry structures. The masonry role provides a lot of new features and workflow enhancements for masonry models. But before we conclude this video, there are a few final points we should cover. As mentioned, this role relies on features installed with the CMU tools, so please ensure that they are installed when utilizing this role. A masonry model template is provided but is not required cast-in-place rebar detailing template is also applicable for masonry models. A critical point for this role is that the settings provided rely on having the prefix for masonry units to be populated as CMU or MB for masonry block. For blocks that do not have this correct, regardless of how they were created, will not work with the settings provided. The values in these fields allow Tecla to identify what is and is not a masonry unit. Without this field populated correctly, the blocks will be omitted from filters and reports. Users with existing settings and models should update them so that CMU or MB is populated in the assembly prefix. Users may want to consider waiting to utilize this new masonry role until the next new project, depending on the current model's size and complexity, as it may take a while to update. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching. Want to learn more about this topic or how to get started with Tecla Structures? Just check out this video's description to links for our user assistance page, getting started guide, and online campus.